is a bird brain, and today we are talking about Starboard Pearl because yes, it's February and this month it's Starboard Month. So let's get to it. <laughs> so today, what we're gonna focus on is not so much a tutorial, but more like how to work with a team within the software. So we're gonna see a bunch of different features that are gonna help you to work as a team. So I have this massive project. I did last year with the rest of the shenanigans and other students and people that, that would help us and we mentored a lot of people <laughs> during that project it was amazing but it's a very very big project uh, that we did with lots of different people different styles and all that so um, yeah we needed some help to work as a team <laughs> so that's what we're gonna focus on uh, today first when you work with a team or without a team always important uh, to name your sequences and your scenes the right way so you're gonna see later when I do the exports half of my project is named well the other half I went and made thumb names just to show you during the, the, the tutorial because then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to split our project in half split it in many pieces to give some parts to different artists and all that we're also gonna learn how to track the changes that you make in a board and how to export some things so first how do you split a big project because like I said this is a big project with lots of different sequences and shots so we, we were doing the storyboard for a song so we do have like the seven minutes in the same project but are we always working in that big project? No, because it's heavy. So what we do is we take the big project and then we split it. And like we listen to the music and we did split it into different sequences. So we have a bunch of sequences in the project. And then each sequence had a bunch of scenes or shot, depending on the naming that you chose. So then what I did is once we had our skeleton up and running, we went to file, project management, and then you have many different options. So what do these options do? I have the page here just to show you. Very important, if you're gonna do project management, I think it's mandatory, mandatory to read about the documentation. It's not big, but it, it's pretty unique terms that you won't know unless you read it. So you have splitting, extracting, inserting, and merging, which are the options that we had before. And uh, they explain to you like how it works. So of course, I'm gonna show you in the tutorial, but I'm not gonna go too much into the details. So um, read that, it's important. Okay, so back to file, project management, split, extract, merge, insert. Split, what it does basically, it's gonna it's gonna split your project in half where your cursor is. This is useful if you see that you have a big project, it is getting a bit heavy and slow, and you wanna just like split it in half. So this is gonna like separate your project in two different files. Very pretty straightforward. Extract, what it's gonna do is going to export a selected part of your project or multiple small parts. This will allow you to work with friends or colleagues and stuff. So if I go to the extract, I'm gonna have this window that's gonna appear. In this window, you're gonna see all the sequences and the scenes of these sequences. So that's why it's important to name it. So you see at first, uh, the namings don't make sense, but towards the end, you know, you have um, sequence 100 with scene 10, 20, 25, and 30, and all that. So let's say that uh, like this is scene 30, and I want to send scene 30 to Robo. So I'm gonna take that scene, and I'm gonna extract the selected scene. And then you choose where you wanna save it. I'm gonna put mine here, and I'm gonna give it a name. So that's gonna be like sequence 100, scene 30 for Robo. I like to put the name because then I know who has it without looking at a Google sheet or whatever. Then it's there, and then you can do it for multiple scenes if you need to. Then here you have remove extracted scene from current project. I wouldn't do that, but sometimes if you need to, you can, but usually I don't. Then you also have the option to link extracted project. What this does is that if you want to add the extracted project to the list of the linked project in the project management view that I'm going to show you in a minute, um, this is what you need to check. I do recommend checking the about linked project page. This is very important to learn how this works. This is not what my tutorial teaches today. I'm keeping it very basic, just giving you options. But if you read that, you should be, uh, okay, it's really, really clear how it works. So be careful <laughs> with this. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to link my project and I'm going to press OK and then it makes the export. So it's gonna take all the panels, all the layers, and export it to another file. So I'm gonna go open it right now. Sequence 100, shot 13. I'm gonna open that to show you what it did. 
there you go. So what it did is it exported just that scene so that Robo can just work on that scene. So if it needs to clean it up or something, they can do it. Or if they need to change anything, it'll work. And when he's done, you can just save and close it. So if I go here and I make a modification to that drawing, he can save it, saving project. And then if I close it, and go back to my original project, what I can go and do is go to my project management and you're gonna see up oh, that scene, uh, 113 has a yellow dot. That's because it's been modified, but I haven't merged it. So you can click on it uh, here and it's gonna merge the panels from the selected project and you can um, press on okay. And then it's gonna tell you, hello, uh, scene 30 panel 11 was updated. And you're like, okay, great. So that's exactly the panel where I put the circle in the, the other scene. So that's how we would work as a team together. Pretty useful. And then you also have insert, which would just allow you to insert a new scene to your project. So basically the main thing that I wanna show you today is that you can extract some parts, keep them linked, and then you can re-import them like that. Very important. The other thing I wanna show you that is very, very useful is that if you are reviewing the work of someone else or just your work, or especially if you're a teacher in a school doing some revisions for your students or whatever, what I do love to do is go to storyboard and activate the track change mode. So you go to storyboard, track changes, auto tracking mode. And when you click on this, nothing seems to have changed. But then, you know, if I go get my tool presets, for example, and I take my revision brush, let's say, and I'm gonna make revisions on my board. I'm gonna click here. And it's gonna add me you know, my new layer. That's not the thing I wanna show you. What I wanna show you is that now, huh, my layer turned yellow. That's because I am now making a modification to it. And it's gonna keep track of what I do. So I'm gonna say add the whatever that is there. Then maybe here I want to add a new modification. So I'm gonna click again. And each each time I make a small modification, it's gonna uh, indicate it inside timeline. So then you can just like do <laughs> whatever you want. Uh, say like, oh yeah, you forgot the shine on the glasses and just add that. And you can do that across all your board and it's gonna keep track of the changes you made. And then when you're done, I usually go to track change, uh, validate changes. And then change by change, you can write what it is. So like, please add shine. Then I'm gonna go to the next one here. Maybe this one is a suggestion, like should we do this? Whatever it is, <laughs> and then that's what it is. And then I'm gonna close it. So when another person opens the file again, so like if I save and I, I put it later or like I send it to someone and they open it, they can go to storyboard, track changes, validate change, and then they can walk through the different things that I asked. So it's a great way to have a discussion, especially when everybody's working from home or if you send the file, sometimes it's just easier to have the things inside the software instead of working with lots of different emails and Google Sheet or whatever, so very useful. And the track change, uh, the other thing where it's useful is when you do your exports, so let's say that I want to export a movie. You can go here and then you can uh, select to export only the panels where you made track changes. So the, the yellow panels. So you can choose to only export these panels, for example. Very useful. And uh, that's it. So I hope this is going to help you work a bit more as a team. I know I kept it surface level, but I might explore this in more detail if more people have questions. But you know, the documentation is pretty great for that. So I encourage you to check it out. And uh, have a nice day.